This video will demonstrate the use of attributes in JDBC data source definitions. There are various business cases where attributes can be used, but for this video I will demonstrate one such use case. I will define data source attributes at a server and at the organization level to restrict users access to data source connection information and to control users access to data. There will be two sub-organizations where each organization has a DB name attribute value. There will also be a single data source with attribute references that is accessible to each of these organizations. To help you understand the content of this video, I strongly recommend to review the following materials. In the Server Administration Guide, sections 2.4 and 4.1, and the community article, which explains about the attributes in data source. We begin by logging to the Jasper Report server as super user, and navigate to Manage Server Settings and Server Attributes page. On this page, we define the server attributes. We click on add a new attribute and we set the host, username, password, port and the attribute values. We also set the permissions to execute only. This is so that lower level users and administrators not be able to see these attributes and their values. We are restricting these users from viewing such information. The super user can also create an attribute data source and place it under the public data sources folder. This will allow the sub-organizations to access this data, data source. The configuration within this JDBC data source definition contains attributes which refers to hierarchical references. There is a difference between a hierarchical reference and a categorical reference for attributes. The latter is shown here. This means that the attributes need to be explicitly set at its respective level. When a super user t clicks on the test connection button, there will be an error. This is because DB name is not defined anywhere in hierarchy, including the super user profile, the root organization, and the server level. This means that the super user is unable to make use of this attribute. The error can be ignored because this attribute data source is only relevant for administrators who will make use of this. We can now log in to the Jasper report server as the Jasper admin, which is the administrator for the top level organization. The administrator has two sub organizations created, Foodbart and Sugar CRM. Within these organizations, the administrator can set a DB name attribute value. In order to do that, Click on the sub-organization and click on edit. Go to attributes tab and add a new attribute. The attribute itself can also be made read-only so that lower level users and administrators cannot make any change to the value of DB name, but can see the value. Note that these tasks can also be performed by the super user. The idea here is to restrict the organization to access its own database. Within both the organizations, we have users created. We have an administrator and we have a normal user. Both these users, for example, Foodmart Admin and John User, have a DB name attribute value already set and it's read only. The attribute values 
within this user profile is inherited from the organization. That is why inherited equals true, as shown here. I will now log on to the Foodmart organization as Foodmart admin. The Foodmart administrator can now create domains based off the attribute data source, which is, res which is residing under public data sources folder. It is important to click on the test connection button to ensure the data source works. The administrator can now create a domain based off the data source. Since the data source has a hierarchical reference to the DB name attribute value of Foodmart, it will reference the user profile DB name Foodmart. If DB name attribute is not listed here, then it will reference the DB name at the organization level. And if it's not listed there, then it will reference the DB name at the server level. And if there is no DB name at the server level, then an error will be thrown. Since the DB name attribute value is set to Foodmart, it means that the administrator for the Foodmart organization is bound to only the data sources available for the Foodmart database when creating the domain. The same concept applies to the Sugar Serum organization, where the administrator there can use the attribute data source to create a domain. For the domain, the source of the data is restricted to the CRM, Sugar Serum database. All users now within the organization can create report and ad hoc views based off the domain that was created by the administrator. This concludes my video. Thank you for watching.